Hey guys, so today I want to just show you how to create a quick um, planner insert using Canva. So if you look up here on the where it says um, size, I already have it at 11 by 8.5 inches, which means that it'll print sideways pretty much. So it's like turning your letter size paper sideways and then when you can just cut it straight down the middle once you have the planner created. So the first thing I'm going to do is... Um, if you on your Mac, if you hit control, command and colon, you'll get lines like this. And these lines are amazing because they actually um, help you as far as with measurements. So if you see right here, the line measures right straight down the middle. So once you have the lines, then you can go ahead and start creating a planner. So first thing I'm going to do is upload some text and I'm going to put it right about here and I'll probably have to change it in a second to get it centered. Um, I'll make it a tad bit smaller and I like cursive type of font so I'm going to go ahead and change the font There we go. And um, Sal, and this font that I have here, Salmella script, I'll say, um, I actually downloaded that from, I think the site is called fontbundles.com, if I'm not mistaken. But that's where I got that from and actually uploaded it onto Canva. So I have the heading. So now I'm going to go ahead and add the lines. So if you go to elements and click on lines, I usually use this first one. And you see it's thick. Um, all you have to do is just play with it. Now the numbers that you see over here, these numbers um, actually measures everything in pixels. So I usually like to make it about three when it comes to my lines. And I'm going to change it to black. And that's a line. And then I will go ahead and draw it over see and when it comes to actually sliding over you kind of have to play with it if you can see how my arrow changed from sideways that's what makes it thick and now I'm going to change it to this to the resize so that I can move it over and just based on the planner pages that I've created before I know that I need to stop it about here in order for it to print out correctly so that means I would have to move this over a little bit let me see, I'll make this about, I'll do it about here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to copy it about four times. So that'll make five lines. And then I usually like for the pixels to be about, I usually like for the pixels to be about 35 apart. So if you see right here, it says 35, which is on how it measures on the side. And it's at 103. I usually like to do about 30 to 35, so I'm going to make it at 133. Now, sometimes you got to play with it. I have found that with Canva, it might not go exactly to the pixel that I need, so you may be off by one or two, but sometimes that's not a big deal. So I'm at, so I'm right there. So then I'm going to go ahead and add, move the next one over. And then I have one more to go. I'll make it at 224. All right. So I have the lines there. So then all you have to do is just highlight this area. And now it creates, almost creates like a group. So I just click group. And then you, I have the group already created. So the good thing is all I have to do now is just copy.
and I need one more. So I'm gonna click on it and just hit copy. And of course, this one will probably be a little bit lower, but that's all right. Let me see. We'll do it like. Let me see. You know what? I'll just delete some lines in the group. So we'll just delete that one. That makes it about right. So that'll be the first one. And if you see the purple line that's um, in the middle, that lets me know that the word personal notes is right in the middle of my lines. So I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. Mm, let me see, maybe 28. Nah, we'll go back to 20, I'll go to 21. All right, so that's my personal notes. So I have one side done. So then all I have to do is highlight the whole thing copy move that over here to maybe about this way and if you see the purple lines that's showing up it shows you that it's even with that I'm just going to click on it copy slide it over it's even with the personal notes on my left hand side and if I go over a little bit I should be able to get it there we go the purple line is right there to show me that it's even with the lines for um, that I have on the right so as you can see I just created um, two planner inserts for personal notes so then I just hit um, command or control command control command colon again and that gets rid of the gray spots so then you should be able to go ahead and print that out and you'll have um, two brand new planner inserts for a size A planner. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, just um, feel free to comment below this video. I am going to post it on YouTube and also on Facebook. So feel free to comment below if you have any questions.